Hey guys, it's Fido here and I'm over in my home office over at the Teaching Glass and I wanted to fire up the cameras and talk straight to you about this interesting debate that is going on in the industry about those marketing services like ClassPass and Groupon or whatever next low budget cheap way to get clients that comes along in our industry means to you, your business and our industry as a whole. I'm seeing a lot of hate being thrown at services like this for all the wrong reasons and we need a well thought out debate on this because they are not some evil. They are not the serial killer of the fitness industry as I've heard them called even by people I highly respect. And they're most certainly don't deserve the energy and the emotion that's being hurled at them for running a sound business model from their perspective. Here's the thing, let's frame this up. Because until we get to the deep-seated real enemy that is the culprit, these feelings of anger at a struggling fitness business, they're not gonna go away. So we gotta frame this up. And then after that, what I wanna do is share with you a few strategies on how you can avoid using services like ClassPass if you want, because you're not gonna need them anymore. But if you do decide to use them, I'll show you how to turn a profit from leads that you do get. Because here's the thing, a savvy business owner can sit back and actually take great advantage of working with a lead generation service like ClassPass. And I'll share with you just how you can do that. So we'll get that going in just a few minutes. But first, we gotta have and get a good grasp of what services like ClassPass are so we can understand where they fit in the business ecosystem that we have, cool? Sounds services like ClassPass are a funnel for leads, period, the end. If you struggle to get leads, they can send them to you, that's it. What you do with those leads after, that's your responsibility as an owner and as a marketer. If your business is dependent solely on class membership sales up front and you need the revenue because that one service is taking a hit from people like ClassPass and that's the reason for your poor revenue and it exists, you need to check yourself and find out why your business model is that way. And I know that's painful to hear and I know it hurts to stomach. I'm not trying to like be a douche about this, but it's time the industry gets a grip on its business and marketing problem and aim the blame where it belongs. Trainers making less than $42,000 a year, most businesses lasting less than three to five years as an industry trend, that's not class pass's fault. It existed prior to them and to be honest, it's our fault for having the wrong focus and not putting marketing training at the forefront of what we do in every certification, in every gym, at the bottom of every equipment box and making up the majority of the sessions at our conferences. If you were told more about profit versus bankruptcy reality that hinges upon our daily marketing habits, we would have less trainers turned business owners watching their life savings go into a hole that may or may not ever come out. Here's the thing. ClassPass gets at least one thing about business, right? And I personally don't care if they make it or not. I got out of the studio business 10 years ago because I decided to become more of a marketer and an entrepreneur. So I spent my time eating, sleeping, fricking, making love to business and marketing because I don't wanna see any of you go down and through that same long road when it's avoidable in your business. But I do get that they understand the fundamentals of business. Let me explain, because I want you to think about this and what is business fundamentally. Super simple, without getting all like business and economic style, like business is the opportunity to solve a problem in the market and get paid for it. A client is struggling with fat loss problem. You create fat loss solution, or you should. Potential client is dealing with uh, wants to run a 5K. You create coach to 5K program. Person wants to look good Friday night. Designer creates sexy clothing line that makes someone feel good about themselves. Problem is shopper doesn't feel good. Solution, dress for success. Simple, right? We can kind of keep on going through business, showing examples in the market all day long. You should each be in the business of solving problems and providing 
solutions. So if that's our simple operating definition of business, class pass is smart about the service they created. Here's why. Because they see a huge problem in the fitness industry. Here's the problem they see. Fitness business owners are poor at effective marketing and sales. They are stuck, not getting enough clients in the door. Their business owners could go under if they don't get clients. Solution, help them get clients. Help them get clients, not build their whole business model. Just get them clients. Let me ask you this. Is it their responsibility that fitness business owners are choosing to spend their time cleaning toilets, folding towels, running sessions, and doing the busy work of the business versus getting their focus on the most important vital behaviors of business ownership, which are studying marketing, customer value optimization, development of multiple funnels and revenue streams, systems, operations, team building, and leadership. That's where we're supposed to have our focus. It's not their fault. And I've heard people say, well, I can't afford to hire staff yet. So I have to be the one on the floor, folding towels, scrubbing the toilets, be in to turn on the lights, right? We've all heard that, I've been there. You've heard that too, or you could be living that. I did as well before, I knew better. And if that's what I went through, and if that's the common plight of the fit pro turned owner, where they're stuck like this, there's something wrong with how we are converting from trainers to entrepreneurs, and that's what needs fixing. I didn't have the frickin' money to do it either, but here's what I did. I made leaps of faith. I started to unplug from the floor and get my marketing focus on, and not just the same tired tactics everyone does. I invested in my business skills and the revenue streams, and I looked to the future of where the business is going so that I could turn my business and my lifestyle around. You can too. Listen. I was reading one of the one of the op-ed pieces on this topic about class pass that it's going to be bringing on even more studios and more classes every week and the author cried that this would be more competition of course it is that's business and we're in an industry we're not in silos operating alone more people and businesses will be coming into the market every day that's what moves the freaking economy. How can you blame ClassPass if a business owner is not evolving their business model fast enough to stay viable in an ever oversaturated market where on every corner is a boot camp, every corner is a gym, every studio is opening up, and that as much as owners wish was different from the next, often they're not. It sucks, it sucks to hear that. It stings to wake up to it, but the way we still market classes, memberships, and sessions has become a commodity now. Just like orange juice and milk, there's nothing different about them. And until we improve, improve the marketing enough to create differentiation, and the business owner learns how to market effectively, the business can only compete on price because they're only sold and understood by the buyer on price that way. And then yes, you're vulnerable to cheap competition. Most fitness businesses do a poor job of communicating differentiation in the market. And from, and from their competition, they kind of like whine about it. That, and, and whining just doesn't do any good when it's about pricing over commodity. You're just wasting time. How long do you whine over the price of toothpaste? Does anyone really care about the difference between Crest, Colgate, CVS brand? No, it's all the same. Our industry is no different. Stop thinking it is until we do something about it though. Our customers buy only on price, our fault. We sacrifice price, profit, and power because few recognize the core truth of the real worry and thought that the fitness business owner mind is pissed about, which is I'm failing at getting, keeping, and retaining clients because I can't figure out how to have my product or service stand out. That's the real fear in the business owner's mind. So the blame isn't on class pass. It's in the owner's mirror. And what I believe is a lack of focus on or desire to learn the first most basic marketing practice and then progressing towards more advanced marketing strategies so that they can be agile, progressive, and yet profitable. 
We all got away with that selling memberships and classes and sessions for years, me included. But times are changing, friends. Competition is way tougher. It's more abundant. And the new companies like Orange Theory and Tribe, uh, Iron Tribe and Lifetime Fitness, they got marketing dollars and they got marketers behind this so they're creating differentiating their brand and their brands and on the flip side you got the mom and pop solopreneur struggling because they're still stuck mostly in technician mode and investing in marketing is what gets done almost as an afterthought and hell now there are so many little solopreneur studios all over the place that look like one homogenous boot camp and studio sameness that it makes it very easy for ClassPass to win in the market because they can partner with any studio, after studio, after studio, and don't have to create any different marketing to send them clients because they're all seen as the same. And that lets ClassPass pool their marketing resources, farm out people to whatever studio is trending until it no longer is, and then move on. So until we start improving marketing, and the fitness business model, it's gonna be price sensitive and it's only gonna happen more. And until ClassPass doesn't see desperate gym owners who can't get people in the door on their own, they will survive and probably actually thrive because there's a need in the market for fitness business owners to get more clients to keep their doors open and watch, not watch their life savings end up in bankruptcy or closed doors on their dreams. So instead of championing a cause against class path, waste of focus, waste of focus and productivity, here's a strategy to do something about it. Protect yourself against these kind of vultures of your profit if you fear them, or turn them instead to your advantage. Strategy number one, have multiple diversified revenue streams and offers. I've taught that the most dangerous number in business is the number one. One of anything, one marketing source, one staff member, one client, one revenue stream, one system is a dangerous way to build a business. If your business is built on only one revenue stream like classes, you are vulnerable. The slightest change in how people want to buy or the slightest change in the economy and you're screwed. And classes, group training, private training are all one kind of service just offered at different price ranges. You need more than classes, sessions, and memberships. You need to start diversifying them because they're all just workouts. They're not different services, just different price points. Well, I should qualify that they are all the same service but just cater to different tastes and affordability when you're using them to satisfy the market's want and need for general conditioning training. If you were, if you were marketing unique training like back pain specific training or ultrathon, ultra marathon training or sport specific training or medical rehab training as examples, then yes, you can create some differentiation in them as services but as a base model to consider when I had my studio we used to uh, we used to kind of have a, a hybrid model train that included like private training for more of the personalized training while still being flexible on schedule and pricing and we kept private training a little bit more to either rehab specific or extreme cases of busy schedules and if the person truly just preferred to be alone because they absolutely freaked out if they were with others or something like that we use group training in classes as a low barrier entry form that appeals to the masses makes fitness affordable for almost everyone but we used results-based feeder programs to introduce people to training and coupled that with nutrition and online coaching to have more tools, more revenue than just the training only solution. And to that point, getting clients from a marketing service like ClassPass should be viewed in your business as an opportunity to get people in and then work them into other areas and offers in your business. Classes shouldn't be your main profit center. They're probably more for covering your baseline expenses and overhead. You can use semi-private training, private training to increase your profit, but those are still limited. 
and you should buy and you should build out other offers, other residual streams. If you diversify your business and create other offers that you can expose class members to once they're inside your doors, you can increase the average value of each member in your door and that allows you to tap into higher margin services in your business, which is kind of called building the back end. But we'll get, we'll get into that strategy in a minute because before we tap into that, let's look at the next strategy, which is really looking at be willing to acquire people at a loss or break even. You know, I learned from, um, from Dan Kennedy that the biggest breakthroughs in business often come from studying other industries versus your own. And that's where I kind of learned to pay attention to how other businesses market and attract leads since in our industry, it has not been doing a stellar job. And that's when I really paid attention to some of my mentors outside the fitness industry and started to understand, hmm, it's okay and it's actually good to be able to get people in your business at break even, if not for a loss, when you have a back end in your business. I, I watched some of them. My mentors like Brendan Bouchard, Jeff Walker, Ryan Dice, willingly give away their books for the price of shipping. That's it. Why were they willing to send you free stuff in the mail the way Sports Illustrated used to send you the football phone when it actually costs them money to do that? Because they have a back end and they have multiple offers to move people into once they're in the door. The book isn't the real product, that's the bait. The courses they offer once you're on their list are the real offers. The live events they put you into and market you after that's where they know they can earn the maximum profit. I believe that classes in particular in our industry are that bait. They've just become a front door offer that gets people in your door so that you get the opportunity to make more offers now that you have the chance to build the relationship. If you can get clients into your door for break even and even at a little bit of a loss, it can be and should be worth it so long as you have a business that can offer more than one product or service. If you have those multiple revenue streams and programs, not just smart classes and sessions, but actual programs that you can develop for a specific market that solves a specific need, you're no longer going to be subject to price sensitivity and you would be willing to get those bodies in the door for break even, even at loss, because you know that you're going to get them and sell them more on the back end. And yes, there's that word sales. I know it, it, it makes a lot of fit pros cringe, but maybe, just maybe, we should ask ourselves if learning to like sales instead of fear it would be the opposite of what's killing our industry because sales equals serving. You can't help people if you can't sell them your service. And especially when the poor business results in our industry speak for themselves and so many are struggling to build a business that they can step away from and earn a lifestyle living from. If you want to survive or even better thrive in this day and age in business, you better fall in love with the sales process, my friends, because without sales, business dies. Without marketing, business dies. Or best, you're stuck in technician mode. And you got an income, but not a sellable business that you can ever walk away from. The key to a big back end is having funnels that operate in distinct ways, like acquisition funnels, which are only used to get you new clients. Class pass as an example. No sign up fee is an example. Monetization funnels, which are used to make additional sales after a prospect or client has come in, like offering specialty programs and upsell offers that plug people into those additional revenue streams we talked about, you should have to reactivation campaigns, which are offers you make to get people back in once they've left. That's a well-buffered business that leaves nothing to chance. So let's talk about a couple monetization funnels for your business, which helps build in strategy number three, which is develop that back end, or what I like to really kind of call the stacking revenue model, which is having, uh, what is it having a back end and what is stacking revenue, I should say. It is the business practice where you thoughtfully think through what you will offer your specific audience strategically to optimize your business success 
over time. In other words, how you move people through solving their problems by making subsequent offers that benefit them and move them toward the solutions that they want. Let me give you an example. A client wants to lose fat. We all know that just working them out is not the solution, or we should know. That's only one piece of the solution and only one tool in what would otherwise be a partially complete program if you didn't put together the other tools that they need, like the nutrition plan, the accountability measures when they're not in session with you, the equipment that they might need, the at-home and travel needs, the mindset practices. Now that's a program compared to merely training. That's not a program. And if you know that your businesses should have all those things in place so that if a client comes in from class pass offer and attended your class and you now have their name, their email, their attention and you start the conversation about fat loss and how a workout is not enough and that's actually why many people fail to lose fat because they just try and work out and work out and work out and work out and you actually begin to educate them that classes are not the same as a fat loss program and if they're in need of a fat loss program you have your 21 day waistline solution that they can purchase that will include the nutrition and the online coaching and the at home exercise and all the things that are going to help them actually get the result that they're after. That's a specific need. That's how you create a specialty program. And I like to think of that as a way to be designed to address a person's specific need to specific people. And that stuff is not price sensitive. And you now move someone from the front end offer, class pass, into your higher margin back end offers, thanks to being a smart, savvy business owner who added nutritional products and online coaching and other programs so that you can build out and package the program and you're adding these residual revenue streams outside of the class revenue on a continuity basis. I take people coming in all day long from class pass if I knew I had a chance to offer them our nutrition programs. So most gyms fail in this and you could be adding $30 per person to the bottom line on a very high margin product like a Shakeology that even if the client left and went to work at other studios but they still use my nutrition line, I'm still making money off of them to support my business growth and their results let alone adding them to our online off-day trainer programs that could add another $7 per person, taking it to $37 per person bottom line profit as two examples of where your back end can dramatically offset getting new clients in the door for little cost or at that break even. And that's why I'm always preaching and teaching about two biggest opportunities that you can plug into the profitability gaps you might be experiencing. Add nutritional products and programs. If you're leaving nutritional products and programs off the table in your business today, you're either simply ignoring and not paying attention to the industry or the markets or your clients' needs because nutrition is essential in getting our clients' results. We all know this. So why more fit pros are so slow to adopt this into their business is why they struggle to have more money to grow, invest, and live an extraordinary life. Do some research. Find the right products or programs for you. Ask those who are, who are, ask those who are killing it with it how they're doing it so you can add it to your business and once again, you got some more offers, some more opportunities to create monetization than just classes and memberships and you're going to buffer and pad the bottom line. Nutritional products are often like also higher margin. They're consumables, meaning people need them each and every month. Meal replacement as an example. Meal replacement is something that a person is going to need every month. It makes their life easier. It helps them get better nutrition and a faster and more convenient than us always just saying, hey, go eat five to six meals a day as if, as if we ignore their daily reality that they were skipping breakfast for years. They were grabbing junk on the go and struggling to just eat three meals. The blue ocean strategy for nutrition products being peppered into your programming versus sitting on a shelf 
is where you can educate your clients where and how nutrition products fit into their life, get them the results, package them into the program or the feeder system in a manner that once you've established the value of the product, you don't have to repeat the sale or run additional costs anymore. So guess what? Straight to the bottom line. Think about if you could add $30 per person to your residual income. Would you take that opportunity that ClassPass provides for you to have more people in your door knowing that you have more ways to now help them and more ways to make money than just classes? See where we're going with this? What else is a blue ocean territory? Add online coaching. Listen, 15 to 20% of consumer buying behavior has already shifted online. It's like we're bookstores and record stores all over again. Not paying attention quick enough. And retail stores are getting wise to online. Well, at least the ones that are starting to thrive. Gyms need to get online. You might not think it, which is why it could be killing your margins and it's getting tougher and tougher to make the same revenue you made a few years back now. Your numbers might not be worse, but you have to try a lot harder and you have to spend a lot more for what equates out to the same bottom line. People are and will from now on get fitness on their phone with an app on their watch, apples all over it, in their home and online. Yes, a certain percentage of people will always come to a live gym, but is it enough to keep your business thriving? That's the question. People are busy in the idea that they have to drive somewhere to work out is getting annoying. They know they need fitness, but now due to the proliferation of options for how they can get fit, they weigh out. How convenient is the solution to this busy life of mine though? The traditional fitness model is asking them to stop what you're doing at home in a hectic life, take five to 10 minutes to get ready and look somewhat presentable before then getting and taking five to 30 minutes to drive somewhere, check in, hit the session for 30 to 60 minutes, then five to 10 minutes to wind down, use restroom, facility, drive back five to 30 minutes, get home, grab something to eat for another five to 10 minutes. Holy crap. Are we thinking about the business and service from our clients' eyes in life or just what we wish they would do? That's one to two hours a day we're asking them to carve out and make plans in order to fit fitness into their world, let alone eat, right? Heaven forbid they need to organize a sitter. You could forget about them taking your business serious as a viable option today unless they start to have other things to make up for it. Not when they can insert a DVD at home now. They can start streaming a video on their mobile phone, on their app, on their tablet, TV, computers, and in the space of 60 seconds, get into a workout and not have to look all pretty for anyone or drive anywhere. And instead, they knock out their workout and start blending up a shake in 60 seconds. They've condensed their workouts from 30 to 60 minutes with only a couple seconds on each side. That makes their daily habits healthier, more convenient. So the question I'd pose to a fitness business owner is, does your business have an online programming option? If not, yeah, you're vulnerable to not just class pass, but to the competition that is figuring this out before you. So before you start fighting class passes business model, fight your own, evolve your own. Another little way to grow your back end and stack the revenue is to four, create specialty programs. We've already talked about how. What are specialty programs? They are programs designed to speak to a specific audience about a specific problem and deliver a specific solution. Let me give you an example of a program from a, from a friend of mine, Trina Gray, owner of Bay Athletic Club called the three week train to run program. It was one of my favorite programs that we used to run. What makes the train to run program a specialty program is that she can charge people on top of class membership. And why is it a killer option in her back end business model and not under the threat of class pass? Because it speaks to a specific person. The person who wants to run for the very first time in their life. Maybe finish a 5K. 
not a marathon, not a 10K, a 5K, and feel more confident in their ability to run and not feel embarrassed. And instead feel a sense of like accomplishment of crossing that event off their bucket list. It's a different promise than just come in and get a workout. Just come in and get general conditioning. The promise is we will teach you how to run better, how to know what to do when you run, what to wear when you run, how to prepare for a race and finish a race so that your arms are up high when you bust through the tape for the very first time in your life. That's a freaking way, different way of selling more memberships, right? Why can't you do the same? You can, but the reality, let this sink in. Why creating more defined specialty programs and stacking the back end is, is where I believe the future of a successful fitness business owners will be moving because they will be the ones to build way more targeted businesses that are not as price sensitive and they will fill their business with people they love and they are gonna feel that they are truly solving people's problems and having their business build both offline and online in doing this. Here's what's cool is that ClassPass and your competition hasn't figured this style of marketing out yet because most gyms have no idea what specialty programs are yet. Here's how you can use ClassPass to fill your specialty programs because what you could do is use class pass to get people in your door and since that's what you struggle with the most but then you introduce them to these new member specialty programs and you move them down various offers and funnels like making them a train to run offer if they take it great if they don't make another offer the 21 day waistline solution if they take it great have a deeper bullpen of offers and programs is a much more lucrative way to build your business. And then ClassPass, you're gonna love that they're sending that. If you do that, you just use ClassPass to help you sell more of your services and make more money because they flooded your business with new members for you to stack the offers towards. And then you can send them a little thank you card for driving you more traffic and helping you create more revenue versus wasting time trying to end their business model. Remember, the front end offers like a week trial, low cost entry feeder program, class pass, group on, are designed not to be your profit makers. They're designed to simply entice people in and then let you move them into the higher margin back end offers. So please, instead of wasting energy on fighting the big bad wolf, you can use it to your advantage and create a few specialty program offers that take your business from a one trick class pony to a well-developed and thought out business that has more to offer. As a business exercise for you, ask yourself, where can you come up with some specialty programs like, I don't know, live a back pain free solution, perfect for people with back pain, the energy diet solution, three weeks to energy and no more dieting, perfect for the person who has, is tired of dieting and wants more energy, or the varsity bound six weeks from bench to starting lineup youth program, perfect for high school kids who wanna be in the starting lineup. You see how you can start thinking and getting creating, getting the picture? All those titles and programs speak to a specific person with a specific problem and if you solve that problem they won't care about how much you charge so long as you can deliver on that promise and you will make more money because you're gonna have more to offer and the big ass corporate gyms they can't compete with you because these specialty programs are designed around usually a unique expertise and knowledge and that's more valuable than a class. So turn that eye onto your marketing and worry less about ClassPass. And while there are even more strategies, like there are so many more strategies that businesses could take to further buffer their business and grow from creating and marketing info products to live events, to retreats, to seminars, to create more than class revenue the essential thing is having an improved understanding of marketing and sales, period. And while I respect some of the voices in the industry's perspective on this, where they believe 
that they take that class pass it's just another group on and we need more local gym owner unification it's not useful criticism on this and I beg to differ on it because it's unification to what to putting an end to class pass that's a freaking waste of time and focus let alone if most local studios are struggling with their marketing what's the sense of local gyms banding together to do what commiserate if they had marketing strategies to share that were effective great but most don't if local studios are going to unify in anything it should be unifying a commitment to get better at marketing get better at business get better at developing more revenue streams get better at product development and market differentiation and evolving with the times your business is at stake but the enemy is not class pass it is our lack of business skills commit to entrepreneurialism the way you commit to training and you can forget about class pass wars because you will see where services like that fit into your model and instead you're going to willingly choose to use them or not because you don't need them commit to your marketing and your sales process and instead you will have the power and the skills and the understanding to launch your business to launch your income and to launch your style lifestyle or what we like to call living the fitness life